again to another episode of uh, I Create Stories, and today I'm going to draw one of the characters out of uh, The Adventures of Cosmic Orf, which is a children's book that I created. It's a spin-off of Cosmic Wars, which was a comic book I created, and uh, this is one of the monsters in the uh, story. So... I created Cosmic Orf when I was um, a kid. And I was influenced by a lot of things. Alf was one of them. Uh, I was a big fan, I still am, of Alf. I wish they would make, make it or do some sort of film adaptation of Alf. I always said to myself if I ever made it big time, I'd uh, try to get the license to it and do it myself, right? Instead of waiting for somebody else to do uh, what I've been wanting to do. I just want to make sure the mic is uh, good and it's not blocking. Um, sorry about that. And it just keeps moving some reason here there you go that's better so um, yeah so it was actually Gorf was one of my first characters when I was a kid and you know again Alf was one of the inspirations for it uh, Star Wars was another inspiration for or it, Fraggle Rock, uh, all of Jim Henson's and um, Lucas Spielberg work. Uh, and Golf looks nothing like he does today. And I'll draw him uh, soon. But uh, you can check him out on my website at iCreateStories.com. Uh, Cosmic Gorf, actually The Adventures of Cosmic Gorf, and um, Cosmic Wars are both available uh, as ebooks on Amazon and uh, Barnes and Nobles. Uh, so this is one of the monsters out of uh, The Adventures of Cosmic Gorf. And so basically the premise behind that book is um, Gorf and the Princess Reina are young, they're kids, and they're on the school bus and they meet this um, alien by the name of Duty, who's also making an appearance of the Adventures of Cosmic Gorf and Duty is from uh, Duty's Adventures, which that's a spin-off of Disney Alien in my toilet. It's duty growing up as a kid. Uh, so, um, somehow, duty convinces them to go on an adventure and they cut school. So you know that cannot be good, right? Whoever had a good outcome when they just cut school? I know I didn't. Uh, I tried once when I was uh, in junior high school and it uh, backfired on me, but, um, and so they cut school and they end up on this planet thinking that they're going on adventures, but they actually are just trying to survive. Um, and they run across this monster. A bunch of monsters in it, and uh, it seems like they'll never make it home. And that's where the adventure begins. And uh, Cosmic Wars, basically, it's the adult version. Well, um, 
Gorf is an adult. And he is in um, self-exile, you know, because he felt, he felt, he, uh, he blamed himself for the death of one of the kings, who happens to be Rain, uh, Princess Raina's father. So he goes into exile. But uh, the, the universe and the planet Crystallia um, is in danger as uh, Zanzarax and Zarkinar are plotting against him. And um, they need Gorf. And so uh, they need to find him. And Captain M3, who was in charge of the Royal Guard, doesn't understand why they need to find uh, Gorf. He's actually uh, envious of him. And is kind of uh, upset that he's tasked with having to find him. Because he says, you know, I'm more than capable of protecting the crown, the crown of Crystallia and the princess. And he's like, I don't need him. And, um, and he's also secretly admires the princess, but the princess's heart belongs to Gorf. So there's that uh, love triangle there. And uh, so he has to risk his soldiers' lives to try to find Gorf. Gorf is on this uh, frozen planet, on this frozen tundra. Um, hiding, doesn't want to be found, obviously for a reason, and, uh, you know, that's how it, uh, the story takes off, you know, it goes from there. So, uh, again, I'm playing here with this monster. Uh, well, it's a monster to the kids, but you know, it's a soldier too uh, on another planet. Uh, I believe I call them crater crushers. So when you have, when I'm working in pencil, I tend to erase a lot. And so, because I'm working uh, pretty fast, um, and it's only in pencils, I can always go over in inks and uh, tighten it up. During this whole uh, Corona pandemic, spent a lot of time binge watching the Clone Wars, uh, the Mandalorian, uh, I'm having fun with that, and catching up to my work. I mean, it's uh, because uh, although I have a full-time job, you know, no one's working right now. So this is a great opportunity for me to just catch up. Um, I'm excited about that. Um, so as you can see, because it's a children's book and, and um, the art style is pretty simple. Uh, I can get through these uh, designs fairly quickly. I actually commissioned an artist by the name of uh, 
Masiak Empro, who actually did the artwork for The Adventures of Cosmic um, Gorf. He did a fantastic job. Um, loved his renditions, loved uh, what he's done with it. So I actually, I don't know if I said this is the last episode, but I took uh, 10 years off. And um, so having to flex those muscles, those art muscles again that I haven't used in a long time, it's a new experience for me. Um, you know, I was rusty for a bit, still am. So I find myself um, looking at a lot of reference books, uh, art books, just to get back into the swing of things. So it's a pretty simple design. Just a cool looking monster. Works well for the book. I got a lot of work done recently with uh, my website. Um, I'll go over this in, a, in ink real quick. Uh, I'm gonna use a brush, a fine one. Um, here we go. So that way you can actually get the full scope of it. If there's any character from my portfolio that you'd like to see, let me know. I'll be more than glad to do an episode on that character. If you've uh, read any of my books, I'd love to hear what you think. Let's talk about the characters, let's talk about the worlds. My phone's going off crazy.
So, uh, Cosmic Wars is a fun book. So far, I've only done uh, two issues for Cosmic Wars. Because I'm working on this in my toilet. I'm trying to finish that up. some of the projects that are coming out this year. I have uh, Forbidden, which I've also commissioned an artist to uh, complete that series. The uh, lettering is being done by George Medina. He was my co-host on uh, Cast the Craze podcast. If you haven't checked that out, please check it out. It's a weekly show where we interview other creators in the industry. you uh, talking about things when there's not someone asking questions. So I'm going to guess I'll pretend to ask myself some questions. So Sam. <laughs> Your inspirations back then were, you know, Jim Hansen and Lucas. Are they still hold true today? Are they still? Yes. Um, I'm a big fan of Tom McFarlane and his work on Spawn. Uh, I love his work when he did Spider-Man for Marvel. Uh, I'm a big fan of Stephen Platt. He did Prophet. He did Fighting American. I have all his issues of Moon Knight that he did signed by him, which is pretty cool. Uh, believe it or not, I love Rob Liefeld's work, even though it's quirky and the anatomy sometimes is not uh, on point, but um, I just like his style of art. Um, what else? What else do I, I appreciate? Um, J. Scott uh, Campbell, Scotty Young, really some good artists um, out there. Put you in the background of my dogs. They are pissed. I locked them out. And that is my cat. I was pissed because I locked him in the room. Because as I started filming, he started knocking stuff over like a crazy man. cat. No respect. I told him, yo, buddy, I'm going to film in a second. He was like, I don't care. I want to play. I want you to rub my belly. I was like, I don't have time right now. He goes, and if you don't have time for me, you ain't going to have time for nothing. And but he started acting up. Mad at me right now. Um, So this basically is the um, 
Crater Crusher. Um, what are the monsters in uh, the Adventures of Cosmic Gorf? I am Samuel. Thank you for watching the show. Visit iCreateStories.com for more from me. And uh, I'll catch you guys soon.